Welcome back. My name is Laura. Today we will be discussing a question that was given to us by an individual who's been receiving some help. The question is, are people successful over long periods of time keeping possessions away? That also goes for attachments too. I'm going to turn to my husband who you won't see. You're only going to hear him because he's recording this video, but he will answer the questions for us. Or is it because I have on the veil of invisibility? Yes, he has a Harry Potter cloak, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Not Harry Potter, Harry Potter got it for me. Oh, sorry, you're older than Harry Potter, that's right, I forgot. There you go. As my husband tells some other kids he works with, he's as old as Jesus. <laughs> I was around when Jesus was around. Not that I'm old, as old as Jesus. There's a difference. You're older than Jesus, then, if you're around when Jesus was around? Yeah, that's We're getting off topic. Yes, we are. Let's get back to the question. Okay. Are people successful over long periods of time keeping possessions away? And then you mentioned also attachments. Also spirit attachments, right? Well, what else, though? Curses, hexes, spells, negative thought forms, negative exactly. programs. And there are all kinds of things. Not all kinds. Those things. Well, those then. things. Well, what, what's your thought on that? My your thought experience? is yes. Yes, there are individuals um, who've received help with clearing work and they've stayed clear for long periods of time and as soon as they, months, and as soon as they're not feeling right, they send us a message, check, there might be something minor there, they get cleared again and they're fine for months again. I think what this individual is asking is, does it ever happen where you never have to be cleared again? I haven't had that experience. I don't recall any. You should speak up. I don't. Oh, they hear me. It's you that they may not hear. I can hardly hear you. <laughs> Maybe my hearing is going bad. I don't recall mm -hmm. of anyone who has stayed completely clear. Not yet. Not yet. But more than likely, there are individuals that probably can do that, right? Right. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Experience that. It doesn't mean it doesn't happen. More than likely, it's happened. So, are we done with that question? You just answered the question. No? <laughs> just, no, no, no. Please read the question again to make sure that we... Are people successful over long periods of time keeping possessions away? Okay. So I think we sort of answered the question. Again, it's not just possessions. I, the difference, we've talked about this, correct? The difference between possessions and attachments? Right, in the videos about um, clearing work, okay. the process for clearing work. All right. <clears throat> so the answer would be yes, for long periods of time. Mm -hmm. But from our experience, so far, we don't have anybody that we've helped, including ourselves, mm -hmm. that have stayed clear and never needed clearing again. And I stress that includes us. So the question becomes, why is it that folks get affected by or get possessions or attachments? It goes back to the frequencies, lowering of the frequencies. And uh, of course, we're, we're a body of frequency, all of us, right? We mm -hmm. have wavelengths, everybody has a certain frequency that they vibrate at that level. That's what makes, that's what makes us unique. However, if we get out of control, for example, with our emotions, the way we're thinking, our behavior, then that vibration is affected, which then, in many cases, we can either raise the frequency, the vibration, because we're excited. When it's something really good, mm -hmm. we raise the frequency, right? right? And then when it's something that we don't feel is really good, because, and I stress feel, because there are times when people from the outside looking at what's happening might be very excited about what's happening for that individual because they see it as very positive but the individual doesn't see it that way okay and so because they don't feel that it's positive then the, the frequency gets lowered and once it gets lowered that's when you become more um, susceptible susceptible yeah. thanks for that big word huh? <laughs> <laughs> more susceptible to having attachments or anything out there, whether it's an entity, right? Mm -hmm. Whether it's a thought form where somebody's thinking something about you, they wish it would happen to you. Mm -hmm. All those things are a certain frequency. It could be 
a lost soul, someone that passed away, but they don't know that they've passed away. And they're looking for somebody to attach to. And you happen to vibrate at the same vibration as them mm -hmm. in their deceased form. So then they attach to you. That's how we get those. Now, it sounds like from what you're saying, because it's all frequency, you keep saying the word feel, the way we feel. So if it's all feeling based, which would lead me to believe it's more emotion based, if we keep our emotions in check and make sure we stay balanced emotionally and not allow ourselves to be too sad or, or too happy, will that help us to keep these possessions and attachments from occurring so often? It will definitely help. But I don't know if it's, well, emotions, as they say, they, and this has been proven by a lot of scientists, mm -hmm. that over 90% of diseases that people are affected by are the results of emotions gone bad. And when we say emotions, it could be fear, it could be hate, mm -hmm. envy, any of those things, right? Um, the bottom line is that your emotions pretty much affect your life either in a positive way or a negative way and you're right depending on the type of emotion you're putting out it's either a, a, an emotion that vibrates at a high rate which is good for you mm -hmm. or it vibrates at a lower rate which opens you up for attachments and possessions which of course that's not very good for you unless if you like to have the possessions and attachments now I'm, not trying, not, now I'm not trying to be funny about that because I've heard stories and read stories about individuals. I remember we, we, we met with one individual shared with us where she was working with one individual and she saw this big attachment of this individual Ooh. and the person told her, no, leave <clears throat> it there. I right. feel more secure having this on me. Mm -hmm. Even though it was... Negatively affecting exactly, the person. Exactly, exactly. The person but said, leave it there. That's correct. You know, so there's some people that on purpose will lower their frequency to get attachments or possessions because for whatever reason they it makes them feel them. more secure. Now I have a story Okay. because this happened with me where um, a while ago, maybe a couple of years ago, I had a, a headache and then I asked my husband to check on me which he did and he came into the kitchen where I was while he was doing the work and he, he said there's something interesting going on here I'd like for you to come back to the room where I'm working. I said okay and when I sat down, he said, it's your uncle, which is referring to my mom's brother, and your uncle is here, and he's the one who's attached to you, and he says he's there for a reason, and it's a positive reason. And I said, okay. So I asked some questions to confirm if it really was my uncle, didn't get very clear answers. And later on, what we found out was it really wasn't my uncle, but an energy that was kind of pretending to be my uncle and wanted to stay attached to me because of whatever I was doing with my life and living it and they wanted to give me guidance and influence so as soon as we found that out though I told my husband get rid of that sucker which of course he did and the headache was gone after like three days of headache and I'm like oh does it have to be painful to have a spirit hanging around no no your loved ones will be around but they're not going to affect you like that if they've already crossed over from what I've learned that's a very good story, and I remember that. You're right. Good, very excellent memory. I definitely remember that. And very good point in saying that your loved ones won't. I mean, why would your loved ones want to hurt you, right? Right. That's not the way it's supposed to be. And mm -hmm. if it's something that's causing you pain or injury or illness, it's not good. I and mean, why would you want to hold on to it? But again, there are people that, from what I've read, I've never met anybody. Right. Actually make that choice you want to say something I was going to say something else that when my father passed away he had attached to me but that was because he needed some help in order to cross over and once my husband helped my father to cross over everything was fine my dad still comes around and gives me messages of course through my husband and it's it's a good experience no headaches no pain nothing with it you know he used to work for AT&T so maybe no he didn't work for AT&T he oh. worked for Illinois Bell oh right 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 <laughs> <laughs> Illinois Bell, a long time ago. Well, and then it became SBC. Yes. Right, right, uh -huh. right. So see, so he can come anytime. He can just call you on oh, your phone. Oh, stop! 
Yeah, but that, that would be amazing if one day I do get a cell phone call from one of these spirits. You know, he might do it. <laughs> he just, my, my father in law, he's a prankster. He just might do that stuff. But I think that actually covers the question and answers the question about possessions so. and spirit attachments. Right. And because the, everything again, else that can you, you can choose to invite it. That's another thing. There are some individuals that actually invite it. And I've been told that many times, right? Mm -hmm. Where someone has a possession or an attachment, and then I'm told, well, the person invited it. They mm -hmm. actually welcomed it into their lives. I did that by mistake. You did? I did. What did you do? <laughs> See, my husband is always learning different techniques and ways of doing things to become a better um, healer and, and individual who can work with the spiritual side. So he was telling me about some techniques, and I thought, well, that sounds really simple. I'll try that. So one evening, I sat down and I thought I did enough for protecting myself and I decided to try this meditation. And when I was done, there was a whole bunch of possessions and attachments. My <laughs> husband's like, what did you do? Who did you talk to? Well, I tried that technique you were telling me. He said, well, you invited this in. I was told you invited it. Well, yes, because I was trying something new. <laughs> Not gonna do that one again. <laughs> So there you go. Let's <laughs> see the moral of that story is. So no, no, but that's a good story because if you watch the internet stuff, you know, like sometimes I see things on YouTube. Yes, sometimes where, I watch things too. No, but where people will tell you, oh, it's easy. Yes, you just do. do this and, and do that. See, and then that's how people open themselves up mm -hmm. to these things. You know, like someone could be watching this video right now and say, well, how do I know that yours doesn't do that? Very okay. true. And that's a good point. Very like, true. You don't know Well, this. we haven't posted any of these techniques well, on YouTube. <laughs> no, but just watching this video, who knows, right? Right. Well, you'll know because when you're finished, you should check and see how you feel. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> anyway, you should feel energized from these videos, just to let you know. We won't tell you why, but you should feel actually great. Mm -hmm. But yes, people invite things like that. Mm -hmm. So the bottom line is, as long as you keep working on it, going mm -hmm. back to the question, it's like an onion. You keep peeling off layer by layer, right? Yes. And every time you peel a layer off, something new comes up, but then you peel that one off, and after a while, for you to be clear, it becomes less frequent, is a good way to put it. Mm -hmm. You also have to be careful, though, about where you are. Because, for example, you know that if you know on purpose you go to a bar where there's a lot of stuff going on as far as people cursing and who knows what else that really lowers vibrations then you're on purpose exposing yourself to that right but that's not good mm -mm. so just be careful with that as well okay i hope that answered that question i believe that answers the question if not <clears throat> please be sure to comment and let us know and we'll see you in the next video